Madrid, a weekday, 7.30 in the morning. More than three million people will be on the move, commuting to work, school or university. Public transportation plays a key role. But there are still thousands of people who use the car and risk heavy congestion every morning. The public authority wants the car users to board their trains, trams or buses. But this is only possible if commuters will be convinced by the quality of public transportation and if the journey will bring them as quickly and as close to their final destination as the car. The key to success is intelligent exchange. The public transport system in Madrid is characterized by six suburban interchange stations, where commuters can easily change from trains or interurban buses to using local buses, trams or the metro. The interchange facilities offer a high-quality information system for passengers and operators. Developed within the European research project EBSF, the European Bus System of the Future, the aim is to help the commuters to coordinate different modes of transport within the same journey. Laura Delgado Hernandez has been involved in the integration of the system. We want to offer a public service which is competitive to the car, both in terms of time and convenience. In addition, we want to promote public transportation as a sustainable way of travelling. Organising and providing information about the entire public transportation system in Madrid is a tremendous challenge. There are 15 million journeys a day, and all means of public transport are monitored in this room. Umberto Guida works for the International Association of Public Transport and is coordinating the EBSF project. This is the first time that at European level the three aspects, vehicle infrastructure and operation, are studied together and are developed together in some innovative solutions. A second quite different research development of the EBSF project is Rouen in France. Here engineers want to improve the mobility of handicapped people. Today, a person in a wheelchair has great difficulty using buses on their own. She will always need some sort of assistance. Engineers from Aris Bus Iveco in France work on a solution to facilitate the boarding of a bus. Philippe Rey tests sensors which can measure the height of the curb. The system can adjust the bus level accordingly. When the wheelchair button is pressed, a pneumatic system releases a board underneath the opening doors. Pressure sensors ensure that no one will be hurt by the board. Today we've built a demonstrator for this bus and it works. A mass production could be quite close. In one year this technology should be ready for the market. Testing this prototype on the road shows how it will work in the future. Instead of being helped by others, a person in a wheelchair can get a barrier-free access into the bus. This will make public transport more attractive, not only for handicapped people, but also for people with heavy luggage or those travelling with pushchairs.